everybody out there in YouTube land. Welcome to 2023 and our first video back. We're going to be talking about movies we're anticipated. You've been hearing about ones we hated and ones we loved. Now you're going to hear about ones that give us a big old horror movie boner. Um, yeah, so 2022 is dead and we killed it. But in its death, with the cycle repeated and a brand new year rebirthed out of it in 2023. And we have a ton of horror movies coming out this year that we are super stoked for. So for the first time ever, we're doing what we're looking forward to, most anticipated, so on, so forth, whatever. Uh, we're not gonna, if, but if you want to hear us talk about some that we don't mention in this video, Cough, cough, scream, cough, cough, the exorcist. Uh, fear not. While we are talking about those in this video, uh, we will be talking about those in the upcoming Horror Hangout livestream. Shameless plug, cough, cough. Um, so we get to go, go tune into that in on some point here soon. We don't have exact dates or who's hosting it this month fully locked in yet, but on the upcoming it's horror, coming. it's coming and we'll be talking about a lot of those movies there. Um, this is just going to be us about some of the ones that we're looking forward to throughout the year. Uh, some of the ones that we don't have set release dates yet, but more than likely they're coming out this year, but most of them do have proper release dates. Very, very cool. So what are some of yours? Two ones that I'm looking super forward to, but don't have release dates, is Bad Girl Boogity, which is directed by Alice Mayo McKay, who was who directed So Van, which if you saw our best of the year list, know both of us quite like that film. I dig this girl's stuff, and uh, and this is her next fe uh, feature coming out. It is. It sounds like it's going to be a big send-up to 80s slasher films. It's a set at a sorority house around Halloween, and it sounds pretty cool. Sounds fun as hell. Hopefully, there's no set release state for it yet since it's set around Halloween hopefully October sometime uh, the other one I'm super stoked for is I Saw the TV Glow, which is the second feature from director Jane Scarborough, uh, which who directed We're All Going to the World's Fair, which if you saw it, know that you know that was my favorite film of last year. Love that film. Most people hated it, but fuck it, I love that movie, so I'm very excited to see what her next feature is going to be. She's teaming up with A24, and um, I was looking on Letterboxd, and the cast list features one Frederick Durst in the cast, so uh, like I like the rolling, like, rolling. Like the rolling, rolling. Y'all be loving this shit right here. L I M P Biscuit Man. Looking for that nookie. Looking for that nookie. Um, we we got Fred Durst in the cast list. I don't know what exactly that entails, or if it's archival footage, or if he's actually a performer in the piece. Is I have, bringing John Travolta? God, I would love that. Um, I have no idea, but it's the director of We're All Going to the World's Fair teaming up with A24, and Fred Durst is in the cast list. So, uh, yeah, I'm fucking sold as shit to that. There's a couple there is one that i do not know much of except we're set into a desert which you know for some reason kind of vibes with me and it is called outwaters and other than it's a found footage film and i saw a quick trailer of it it looks very very bloody it could be a total horrible mess but there's something about the trailer that just sticks out in my mind and we do not have a release date proper for this one but go check it out on youtube there is a trailer out on youtube it's called the outwaters and it looks trippy it looks weird and it looks bloody so uh, and I like found footage when done right so I have hope for this for one. sure for sure I have hope um, another one that uh, I have not heard anything I tried looking for information on the internet but somebody who I do trust very well said that yes for sure it is coming out sometime this year that is creep 3 oh. which I hope to God it's true but uh, Christian and I another found footage movie um, but we were really big fans of the first creep and the second tr creep and we'd love to continue the story I, I, I lo I'm, I'm here for crazy Mark Duplass being crazy Mark Duplass. And then the last one I want to mention that does not have a release date I tried looking. There's rumors but no release date but here's hoping. Um, hopefully we will be getting something from Wolf Creek. We, yeah. I want to go back to Wolf Creek. Um, there are rumor, rumors and rumblings but I don't know for sure uh, if it's coming out if this if it's this year or even what but there are rumors saying that it could possibly but there were rumors last year saying it was going to be out last year. Who the fuck knows but if it wolf creek does happen this year oh yeah i am so down for it mick mick taylor is one of my favorite slashers he's like he's not new anymore but out of the newish people he's one of my favorite slashers i fucking adore him yeah absolutely i'm super stoked i given the, part, the first two movies are great and the second season of that show is fucking excellent see first season's pretty good too but first, second season of that show is real fucking good. Uh, I'm totally, totally down for another venture into Wolf Creek. I am too. Um, one that I'm super stoked for, 
that I was even more stoked for until I found out about another film, but I'm excited just because I'm a Nicolas Cage fan <laughs> bitch to the 10th degree. Um, that being Renfield, which is, sounds like it's going to be way more of like a kind of horror comedy, leaning a lot more into the comedy element of it. But it's a story of Renfield, Dracula's little helper, is trying to find love in the modern day. And Nicolas Cage looks like this, and he's Dracula. So of course I'm fucking here for everything about this crushed velvet suit Dracula. Fuck yeah, I'm here for it. Um, is it gonna be great? Mm, I don't know, honestly. But Nicolas Cage, Dracula, that's you got. That's all you need to say to get my ass in the theater. Oh yeah, I definitely. Another one for me, and this is gonna be because I feel some of you going, of course this is gonna be a, almost anticipated on Jen's list. It is an Ari Aster picture. I'm kind of a fan of the man. While I know a lot of you hereditaries, your darling, I fucking was blown away by Midsummer. And guys, don't forget the little short he did before we knew who the fuck Ari, Ari Aster was. Uh, there's something about the Johnsons. I, it is a strange little piece of cinema that people don't talk about when we're talking about Ari Aster, but he has a new movie and technically we don't know if it's horror, but I'm gonna venture to guess it's probably horror. I know Walking Phoenix is in it and I know you said Nathan Lane Nathan is also gonna be in it, which I'm always a big fan of Nathan Lane and that is uh, Bo is Not Afraid. Um, we, I don't know much. The poster looks really weird, um, but I'm here for it. Just the fact of having the combination of Ari Aster and Walking Phoenix, that's enough right there to get you is in. Is it weird, like, uh, uh, is it weird that the adding of Walking Phoenix kind of makes me way less interested in this, and it's entirely because I'm sick of hearing people suck Joker's dick so much? I, I, I get that, but I, I'm actually really interested to see, and I'm just also inter- I'm always, uh, Ari Aster's one of those directors I'm always fascinated. He hasn't let me down with his other two movies, and I fucking- like I said, Midsummer was one of my favorites of that year, so I'm really excited for that one. Absolutely. Uh, the movie that kind of put me a little bit down on Renfield uh, is a movie that I just literally found out. Shout out to Monty G. I've heard a few other people mention, but I, f I first heard about this movie through him. That being The Last Voyage of the Demeter. Uh, this is a movie based around one single chapter in Bram Stoker's Dracula that's set upon the Russian uh, vessel The Demeter, uh, which is the boat Dracula used to get to England. I don't know what the fuck this movie's gonna be, but I love nautical horror, and usually when we get nautical horror, most of them are like ghost ship movies or something along that line. The only other vampire boat movie I can think of is the movie Blood Vessel, which is fun. Um, so I'm super down for this movie. Uh, the cast sounds really good. You got Viggo Mortensen in there, hopefully playing Dracula. We don't know anything about this, but I'm ho I'm calling it now. Viggo Mortensen better be playing Dracula, and, I hope so. and if so, it's gonna be amazing. Um, this is also one other one other thing that gets me kind of excited for this is the director. He also did. Troll Hunter, The Autopsy of Jane Doe, and Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, which I'm a big fan of all of those movies, so I'm very excited to see what exactly his take on a Dracula film is going to be like. I think it's, I think this movie has a lot of potential. Very cool. A good segue, actually, and shout out to the Trash Picture Show for turning me on to this movie. Um, another kind of by-the-way vampire, but very different from the way you're describing movie that's coming out in January on the 31st, and yeah, I'm well aware of horror movies coming out in January what their reputations are, but there's always sometimes one that'll get you, give you a surprise, and I'm hoping Blood will be one of those. It's coming out on the 31st, and it's gonna take a look on a child vampire, but I think it's a vampire. The trailer shows a kid, like, that has an accident, and all of a sudden when he wakes up, he needs a lot of blood, and it's also showing, like, what, how far a mother will go to provide for their child, and just what kind of lines you're willing to cross as a parent. It, it could be a hot piece of garbage, but the trailer was done really well, and it looks like it might be something good. It looks like this is going to be a really good year for vampires. Yeah, we, it's a good year for vampires. We fuck with vampires. Um, my another one I'm stoked for. Actually, one that I was not super stoked for initially, given surprising given my history with this franchise and my love of this franchise. But uh, perfect timing for, since we're filming this the day the trailer dropped for it. Holy shit, that trailer turned me around on this movie so fucking hardcore. Evil Dead Rise. Holy fuck, this movie looks excellent. 
Absolutely, in my opinion. I was very cautious due to the director who also did the movie Hole in the Ground, which I'm sorry, Marty. I think Hole in the Ground is a piece of shit and one of the most boring, tedious films I've ever watched. Um, and he felt like a really bad fit for the Evil Dead franchise. But uh, yeah, that trailer showed me how wrong I was about that. This tra this movie looks like it's going to be rad as hell, super bloody, and a nice breath of fresh air to the Evil Dead franchise. I was listening to, I believe, or reading an article um, with some of, with the director when he was thinking of like. How, we want to shake things up from just like the cabin in the woods element, but we want to keep that very isolated kind of claustrophobic feel to it and like what's a better example of like an apartment building it's very cramped very claustrophobic uh, so I'm super I think that's a great idea I like apartment building horror even though we don't get a lot of them it's like probably the most high profile ones like I don't know Poltergeist 3 um, so I'm super down for an Evil Dead in a film set in a high rise I think it looks super cool so another movie that I'm really super um, excited for even though it's going to be a release January 25th and I know the reputation these movies have but I'm gonna just go in with a wide-eyed optimism on this one it's called Happening and it is a French film I believe it's brought out by IFC and it is an abortion film set in 1960s and um, it's about a girl having to try to get one and what she has to go through and I know you guys are thinking this sounds more like a drama but it is marketed under horror um, it looks interesting the trailer looks interesting and I'm kind of got a hope for it and I know this movie isn't getting a lot of buzz so maybe getting it out there maybe more of you guys will hear about it absolutely uh, speaking of French films uh, one other one that I really am excited for but does not have a set release date yet um, is a movie called My Animal it's actually premiering at uh, Sundance uh, later on in this month but most Sundance films usually get picked up and distributed incredibly fast look at the hatchling but um uh, but a movie but the movie My Animal is a French erotic lesbian body horror thriller thing. It sounds really fucking cool, and yeah, I'm super here for any fucking lesbian erotic French thrillers. So fuck yeah, I'm, this sounds super cool, super fucked up. Uh, we we don't know anything about it because it's no, we haven't even heard any early critics' thoughts on it since it's getting its premiere at Sundance. So I don't know anything besides that premise and the poster. But that premise and the poster sells me on this. I'm excited for this one. Very cool. And the last movie I want to talk about and I saved my best for last as soon as I saw this trailer I was like this one has been in my mind for a while it's a love story it's actually coming out on February 14th and it is called Jethica and it is what how I am going to describe this movie is like I said it's a love story so say something like ghost but what if you mix ghost with a douchebag instead of Patrick Swayze you get a, a douchebag and you might have been the one that made the douchebag a ghost in the first place. It was shot. I knew it was, when I saw the trailer, I'm like, they shot this in New Mexico. And Christian did some research, and sure enough, they shot it in New Mexico. If you're from New Mexico, you'll know the look right away. It's a be it's shot beautifully. And this one just had, and, and what the premise is, and I'm not spoiling anything, because in the trailers, you get the idea she's the one that made her ex-boyfriend, who looked like an abusive shitbag, a ghost. But it, her troubles aren't over. You think after the bastard's dead, your troubles are over. But no, just like Patrick Swayze, he's coming back and he's not going to ever leave her side. Um, it sounds very fucked up, and but also very fun and very interesting. If you've ever been in a toxic relationship, I feel like this one right really vibe with Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And I love that it's coming out on February 14th. I think that's awesome. Perfect movie for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Um, my last one is my most anticipated film for the entire year. And it's coming out at the end of the month. Um, but uh, of course, it's got to go to Brandon Cronenberg's Infinity Pool. I had adored Possessor and as time goes on I adore Possessor even more that movie would probably go even higher on my personal ranking than it did when, it, when the year that came out but I love Possessor I think it's such an inventive cool sci-fi film so I'm very very excited to see what his follow-up to that is all we know really is like very strong society influences at least from the uh, from the uh, from that trailer apparently I haven't watched the trailer actually but all you need to know is Alexander Skarsgård and Mia Goth and Mia Goth holding a gun that's that's all I really know about it in Cronenberg, but like I'm, I want to go in super blind with this movie, but that's all you needed to sell me on this movie and make me super fucking hyped for this flick. I'm very, very much looking forward to seeing what the fuck this whole thing's going to be about. That's, those are some pretty, that's a pretty good list of movies right there. And yeah, I know there's, 
we didn't mention Maxine, but we will be talking of about course. that on Horror Hangouts. Also, just fucking, it's Maxine. Need we say more? Is there anything that Christian and I mentioned that you might be interested in that you hadn't heard through the grapevine yet? Leave comments below and tell us about it because we're uh, this. It's, we're in uh, 2023. I hope it's going well for you guys. I hope you guys are going are gonna to have a fantastic year. This was our first video back. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, booze and ghouls, we thank you so much for watching. And in the meantime, keep talking and watching horror people. And we'll be back real soon. Bye, guys. Cheers.